Once the relationship started, I allowed them to stay on the porch as a place to get out of the weather. And then one thing led to another, and we had quite a situation where too many people were coming to the church porch. And that's when I started working with Eugene Police Department and Officer Rager and Officer Hunt. And we developed a program, a pilot program, to see them have the privilege and ability to stay on the church porch in exchange for doing community service in the neighborhood. And, and it worked like gangbusters. There was about 12 of us piled up on the porch. I was there for probably at least 17 years on and off on that porch, close to 20 years. He was fine with it, as long as I was respectful to the church property and, uh, and to the people around the neighborhood. <laughs> and the pastor had to come and do uh, control, damage control. <laughs> he, was, he was accepting us, but yet that wasn't enough. He adopted us, you know, and I mean, it's one of the one of the coolest guys I've ever met. Well, he just said, "Hey, you gotta go. You gotta go. You can stay. You can stay. You gotta go." And then he got us all put on a writ. Who can stay? Who could go? And basically, we came together as a group. We told Gabe that we would help uh, do repairs, keep the gardens at the church, and uh, just try to keep the space looking as as well and normal as possible. And uh, therefore, he was nice enough to agree to let us stay there. Um, unfortunately, the church had to go up for sale, and so uh, a big part of this project was here we have this group that is amazing. They're willing to work, they're willing to do stuff. As of this last week, uh, two of the individuals, um, we found them housing in an apartment complex. The other ones are now going to be living in micro sites, so everyone in the group has a home. And Square One has purchased this property and are using these pallet shelters from Lane County and they have a, a system of outreach where they find um, unhoused individuals in the community that need shelter. They put them through a process of signing up and then they get access to the shelter. And then another great part of their program is that they get access to a housing navigator who helps them create housing goals so that this is just another step in their story. That's what you're doing now? Yeah, you're supposed to be building the small miniature houses for uh, other houseless individuals. And then we get to build one for ourselves. And that's why I, I like that. You know, I, I want to build like five or six of them before I get one for myself. I'm looking into applying for Social Security if, if need be, uh, general assistance. And I've applied for three different housing agencies. And uh, although those processes take a while, with this organization, at least I'll be able to stay in this small pallet structure indefinitely <laughs> up until I would be able to get my own place in my own apartment and have definite, stable, and permanent housing.